I'm sitting here with the author of The Big Drug Store, Patrick Ireland, and I'm going to ask him a few questions today. The first being, uh, what inspired you to use the Quad Cities as a setting for The Big Drug Store? Well, first of all, I'm familiar with the Quad Cities. Uh, I know where things are, uh, how, the, how the different cities are lined up, where the Mississippi River is and where the, where the houses are. Uh, the, the, the towns are in respect to the river. And also it has a large and diverse population. So it's conceivable that crimes of whatever sort could take place there. Uh, it, it's it's uh, not unreasonable to expect that somebody might kill somebody else, although it doesn't happen very often. Um, and there's a, there's a lot of opportunities for the detective to go to different places, look around, set up stakeouts and so on, and look for uh, whoever it is they're chasing, anybody that they're trying to gather information about. And that, that basically is why I use the Quad Cities. Some of the readers might be curious who's, in, who's inspired you or who's influenced your writing of crime fiction. Uh, yeah, most importantly, um, this Dashiell Hammett. Dashiell Hammett invented a new form of, of mystery. Um, he once said that um, he decided to get the crime out of English country houses and give it to the common people who are really good at it. And uh, so, <laughs> and he did it very well, and I don't pretend that I'm imitating right. him or that I'm do, writing a book as well as he writes. The other person would be Raymond Chandler. He followed, he followed the tradition that, that Hammett had started. He wrote very well in ways that I could not do, but I, can, I do what my gifts allow, and I'm very much indebted to those earlier writers.